Hello, Doctor here. You guys remember my earlier video about downloading games? In that video, I mentioned Battlefield 2142, a game that's no longer supported by its developers. GameSpy managed the online servers for Battlefield 2142, but that company shut down only a few years ago. Because of this, you can't get past the initial login screen. If you want to play the game, you have to be able to log in, so how do you play it then? Well, after searching online, I found a special launcher that allows you to run the game using separate servers. The software is called the Revive Launcher, and you can download it for free at the link I've provided below. This will take you to the Battlelog website, and you'll be required to create a login if you want to download the launcher. The login that you create on Battlelog will be the account you use to log into Battlefield 2142 servers. Once the account is created and you've verified your email address, you're free to download the install file for the launcher. After installing the launcher, you'll be greeted by, well, the launcher. Enter your username and password to log in and press the login button. As you can see, Battlefield 2 is also compatible with the Revive Launcher. I've already set up Battlefield 2142, but because Battlefield 2 is installed the same way, let me show you how to configure it. Once you've selected a game, you'll be offered to either locate the file directory of the game or download the full game from the Battlelog server. Yes, you can download the entire game at just the click of a button. Unless you already own a copy of the game like I do, this is legally unethical. I will however be downloading the game anyway because Revive Launcher seems to conflict with both of my origin and Steam versions of the Battlefield games. If you also own a Steam or Origin copy of either game, I recommend that you also download it through Revive Launcher to ensure compatibility. I also recommend leaving the file locations to their default settings so that Revive Launcher will work properly. For those of you who own the complete or deluxe edition of Battlefield 2 or 2142, you're in luck. These downloads include all of the expansion packs along with the original game. And of course, the additional file that's downloaded is the required patch to make these games work with Revive Launcher. From here, you can begin the download. After downloading the base game, the launcher will install the files and then download the remaining add-on content. When that's finished, you'll be taken to this window where you can complete the setup process. Since I just installed Battlefield 2, I'll be shown the main options for it. As you can see, we have a good selection here that includes launching the Special Forces version of the game or loading up a specific mod that you might have installed. But what we're here for is Battlefield 2142. We don't have quite as many options for it, but that's okay. It's great just to have gotten this far. We'll want to go and check out the settings menu next. You're given a few options such as a profile or configuration reset, but most importantly, we're going to want to take this box to allow for widescreen resolution settings. From there, we'll go back to the Battlefield 2142 page and launch the game. With auto login set, we will skip right past the login page. And there you have it, you're in. Let's go ahead and change the video options really quick though. You can set the graphics quality to your liking, but we now have access to these widescreen resolution settings that weren't available for the game initially. I'm going to go ahead and switch to 1920x1080 resolution, and we'll be good to go. Any other graphics settings you change will be applied when you reopen the game. And that's pretty much it! From there you can launch single player or multiplayer and play it just like normal. Just know that in order to launch either Battlefield 2142 or Battlefield 2, you'll have to first open the revive launcher from here on out. And that's everything that I got for you today. I know this video was a little shorter than the usual. I actually had a different video in mind at first, but the idea didn't really work out. Maybe after some fiddling around, I'll be able to get my other idea to work. In the meantime though, go ahead and throw your own video suggestions down below. Until next time, this is Dr. Modelot clocking out of the office.